Bell. Congratulations on being selected for Team 7 of the Skituate Soccer Club. My name is Michael, and I have been fortunate enough to be selected to coach what I know will be a wonderful group of young ladies. Okay, here's the real deal. Team 7 will be called Green Death. <laughs> we will only acknowledge Team 7 for scheduling and disciplinary purposes, Green Death is not a team, but a family. Some say cult. <laughs> that you belong to forever. We play fair at all times, but we play tough in physical soccer. We have some returning players who know the deal. For the others, I only expect 110% at every game and practice. We do not cater to superstars but prefer the gritty determination of journeymen who bring their lunch pail to work every week, chase every ball, and dig in corners like a pit bull. <laughs> Some say soccer at this age is about fun, and I completely agree. I believe, however, that winning is fun, <laughs> and losing is for losers. <laughs> Ergo, we will strive for the win in each game. Although we may not win every game, excuse me, I just got a little nauseous. <laughs> I expect us to fight for every loose ball and play every shift as if it were the finals of the World Cup. As I spent a good Saturday morning listening to the legal liability BS, which included a 30-minute dissertation on how we need to baby the kids and especially the refs, I was disgusted. <laughs> the kids will run. They will fall, get bumps and bruises, even bleed a little. Big deal. <laughs> it's good for them. <laughs> but I do hope the other team is the one bleeding. <laughs> if the refs can't handle a little criticism, then they should turn in their whistles. My heckling of the refs actually helps them develop as people. <laughs> The political correctness police are not welcome on my sidelines. <laughs> America's youth are becoming fat, lazy, and non-competitive because competition is viewed as bad. I argue that competition is crucial to the evolution of our species and our survival in what has become an increasingly competitive global economy and dangerous world. <laughs> Second place trophies are nothing to be proud of. They only serve as a reminder that you missed your goal. <laughs> Their only purpose is as an inspiration to do that next set of reps. Don't animals eat what they kill? And yes, someone actually kills the meat we eat. It isn't grown in plastic wrap. And speaking of meat, I expect that the ladies be put on a diet of fish, undercooked red meat, and lots of veggies. No junk food. Protein shakes are encouraged, and while blood doping and HGH use is frowned upon, <laughs> there is no testing policy. <laughs> and at the risk of stating the obvious, blue slushies are for winners. <laughs> These are my views, and not necessarily the views of the league, but they should be. I recognize that my school of thought may be an ideological shift from conventional norms, but it is imperative that we all fight the good fight. Get involved now and resist the urge to become sweatshito-wearing yuppies who sit on the sidelines in L.L. Bean chairs, sipping mocha latte half cafecinos while discussing reality TV and home decorating with other feeble-minded folk. <laughs> I want to hear cheering. I want to hear encouragement. I want to get the team pumped up and know they are playing for something. We are all cognizant of the soft bigotry that expects women, and especially little girls, to be dainty and submissive. I wholeheartedly reject such drivel. 
My overarching goal is to develop ladies who are confident and fearless, who will stand up for their beliefs and challenge the status quo. Girls who will kick ass and take names on the field, off the field, and throughout their lives. I want these girls to be winners in the game of life. Who's with me? Go Green Death. <laughs>